Hi, uh, hello, this is Gary to Barn Shop, Land, Georgia. Uh, I'm just going to bring you the final episode of my Barn Shop doors. And I'm really glad to have them because I can uh, lock them up. They're nice and secure and close them in the wintertime. So here they are. I'm inside the shop, obviously. The doors are closed. And uh, they, they work pretty good. I'll go ahead and open them from the outside so we can see what they look like. And, uh... A little annoying, the door opens a little bit by itself, the one on the left. So I put this latch and hook on it so I can keep it closed if I'm in here, especially in the wintertime. And uh, don't tell all the criminals, but I've got a piece of rebar steel pole going down about 14 inches into the ground in a steel pipe. That comes up, of course, through the bottom plate of that right side door. And uh, it'll make it a little bit harder to break in. And uh, this is with them uh, both open if I want to get a lot of air. Because <laughs> it does get a little bit warm in here. Although uh, it keeps the sun out. And it was cooler in here when I had the doors closed for a few minutes. Okay, so uh, this is the exterior view of the double doors. It's all done. Uh, i got to paint it white. It'll probably look a lot better. And uh, I have a locking latch which I'll put a padlock on to uh, keep it secure. And uh, you just open it up. I can just open this and go in this way when I don't have to have a lot of space to go in and out. Or, if I got something big, I might have to make that a little easier to get out. That's what holds it. It goes about that far into the ground. And uh, it'll open up that way. And I can open them up all the way if I want to. Or almost all the way. Okay. And uh, just a quick look at the uh, locking latch that I have. Of course, the pole or the, the padlock goes through here. The steel plate holds it in, and to open it. It's kind of a little stiff right now, and you can go in. Well, thanks for watching. Uh, please subscribe and check out Lefty's Wood Designs in Buffalo, New York.